Welcome back to Wealth Wednesdays. My name is Janine Rogan, and I'm here to talk to you today about the motherhood penalty. Now, you may not have heard this term before, but the motherhood penalty is actually the difference that women get paid once they have a child. And it's actually financially quite a penalizing metric when we dig into the data. On average, a woman earns 4% less per child than she does to her counterpart of an individual who does not have any children. This ends up being tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of her life. And this compounds the more children she has. In addition to this financial metric, women are often looked over for promotions and aren't taken as seriously once they have children because society expects them to do the child rearing. Conversely, men actually end up earning almost 6% more when they become fathers, which we like to call the fatherhood bonus. So there's a huge discrepancy in men versus women when it comes to their salaries when both parents have a child. I think that's the key to unpack here is that it is the child of both parents and both parents should be treated equally. I know with my own maternity leave, it was extremely challenging to come back from a financial perspective as there were a number of opportunities that I was looked over for because I was actually out of the workforce for 14 months. Now, this isn't something that I thought I would be doing. I never thought I would be taking so long of a maternity leave, but with the COVID-19 pandemic, we didn't feel safe with sending our little one back to daycare. And because I had flexibility in when I could go back, it did make a little bit more sense for me to stay out of the workforce for a little bit longer. Now, this is the case for so many women and so many women are passed over for promotions and opportunities and leadership positions just because they have children. The motherhood penalty is extremely detrimental to women's finances because on average, we already earn less than men and this continues to compound that impact. Women are also saddled with a lot of the childcare costs, even though the child belongs to both parents. A lot of times in a heterosexual family, it is the woman's income who is considered when we look at the cost of daycare or childcare and, whether, and deciding whether or not she actually goes back to work. What we should be doing is looking at this in a proportional representation. So if that person earns 30% of the household income, they really should only be responsible for 30% of the cost of daycare and the other amount should be going to that other spouse in the relationship. Starting to talk about these things and drawing light to them and looking within your organizations to understand what these wage gaps look like and who they're impacting is one of the first steps that we can take towards a more equal and fair society where women are paid the same rate as men and are able to build their wealth in the same ways that men build their wealth. This all ultimately comes back to women having global power and being able to have a seat at the decision-making tables. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about the motherhood penalty, you can leave them in the comments section below and I will see you next week.